Your name is James Watson. You're from the north of England. Your father is a doctor. You spend a considerable amount of leisure time writing, and you have a particular fondness for custard tarts. Am I correct? My name isn't James, it's John. Oh, James, John, what's the difference? A great deal. Oh, very well, so your name is John. How did I do on the others? You are correct. On every count. Hey, YouTube. Film Geek here. Today I'm talking about the 1985 film Young Sherlock Holmes. This movie is fantastic. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies from childhood. Uh, young Sherlock Holmes is the adventures of, well, young Sherlock Holmes. Uh, the story takes place, they don't really go into a definite age, I would say probably about 16 adventure, how he meets Watson, how he gets his entire appearance, and this is an origin story. Um, however, the story is no way actually connected to any of the actual books. This is something that was a side thing that was supposed to be an ongoing series, but because I'm talking about it right now, you've probably already figured out this movie was a massive flop. It was a huge financial failure. We're talking about a film that grossed $19 million. Now, oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of money in 1985, right? $19 million, 1985? It cost $18 million to make this film. We're looking at about a million dollar difference here. Needless to say, the trilogy, or series as it will, never went past the first film. That does not mean that this is a bad movie. This is the definition of a good old-fashioned hidden gem and a really fun family adventure at the same time. Right now, if you've got the kiddos stuck at home and you are tired and sick of trolls, this is a great opportunity to let the kids sit down and see something from way back when that maybe you don't even know. So a little bit about this film. Number one is directed by Barry Livingston. It is written by Chris Columbus, and it is produced by none other than Steven freaking Spielberg. Blows my mind that this movie went nowhere. It blows my mind that I'm actually talking about this film as a hidden gem. Okay, a little bit more about this film. Let's go into the plot, shall we? Okay, as I stated before, this is an origin story of Sherlock Holmes. But it's also his first adventure. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot because it's a mystery. If I give away too much, you're going to not need to see the movie. Let's just say that there's some strange happenings that are going on around London. Certain people, for some reason or another, are being poisoned with a hallucinogenic drug that makes them see just absolutely horrible things. And that's something else that's really cool about this movie. Number one, <laughs> the scenes are fantastic, man. The special effects are just great. The look, everything. Now, this is not some half-assed little special effects group. Oh, no, no, no. No, we have Mr. Spielberg. Oh, no. It is none other than Lucas Films. That's right. Oh, my God. What do you know? Another big freaking name in movies in this movie, and it went nowhere. So... Lucasfilm does all the special effects for this movie, so they stand up just great. I mean, really, really good. I just recently refreshed myself on this film the other night and was really blown away by how good the special effects were. In fact, my fun little nugget of knowledge for this film, it has the first fully rendered CGI figure ever to be put into a film as a special effect. Now, there's a scene in the film where a stained glass window comes to life and attacks someone. And it is a fully formed CGI figure in 1985. And it looks really good. But you know what? It should look good. Because guess who freaking made this thing? It just keeps going, doesn't it? John Lasseter. That's right. Mr. Pixar Films himself made the CGI night that's in this film. And again, no one knows about this movie. No one talks about this movie. I looked around to see if there were other people reviewing this film, maybe some of the bigger names on YouTube. Nothing. I found nothing. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't find reviews. I'm just saying some of your bigger YouTubers out there haven't really touched this film. So that, again, makes me think... This is another one of those just slowly dying films from the 80s. 
So here we are, folks. Please, go check this movie out. Let's keep this movie alive because it certainly deserves it. This movie does not deserve to go the way of the dodo. This movie should be a time-treasured family tradition to sit around at some point, I don't know, Halloween or something. It is kind of a spooky tale. Actually, it works pretty good if you want to watch a spooky movie with your kids on Halloween. This will be a good one for you right here. So check it out, folks. That's 1985's Young Sherlock Holmes. This is a must-see. Now, good news. It is out there streaming. However, I didn't find it on any free services. I did, however, find it on Vudu for $2.99, Amazon Prime, Google Film, and I want to say iTunes also, but I didn't get a solid answer on that one. I got a, hey, maybe it's Apple. So, anyways, folks, this movie's out there. It can be found. If you just want to purchase it, it's not an expensive buy. This is not one of those hard-to-find DVDs that you have to go searching through antique malls and thrift stores to find. It's very easily attainable on Amazon. So, again, like I said, 1985's Young Sherlock Holmes. You won't regret this film. So, please, thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so when you know... I put up another one of these videos. Thanks again for watching. Keep watching movies, folks, because you know I'm gonna.